So this video is going to be a summer version of Get Ready With Me. I've never done a Get Ready With Me video ever on my channel, but I figure that once I do one, I'd rather it be a talk through than a voiceover. So I have my table laid out in front of me with all the products I'm going to use, and this is just the angle I'm working with today. I have already scrubbed my lips with the Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub, and I have already moisturized a clean face with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I'm going to put down a lip balm. This is the C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve. been loving my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. It doesn't necessarily hydrate the skin, but it's really nice if you do have dry skin. Lately, I haven't been using a sole primer, so I just spray this on my face and I'm ready to go. Basically, just spray my face in a random pattern and just make sure that my entire face is covered. And after that sinks in, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Guard SPF 30 sunscreen. I find that this is a really nice daily moisturizer to put on the tops of your cheeks and the nose, at least that's where I put mine. It smells really good, it doesn't feel greasy, and it blends into the skin really nice. Since today's focus is mainly on the brows and the lips, I'm going to start off with my foundation first. Normally whenever I do eye looks, I always do the eyes first, but this time I'm doing the opposite. The foundation that I'm using today is the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control in Creamy Natural. This foundation tends to oxidize on my skin, so I only like to wear it in the hot months. I know it looks really fair in the bottle, but I promise you, once it starts drying out in over a few hours, it looks a lot darker. Using a dampened beauty sponge, this is a knockoff beauty blender. I'm just going to blend this into my skin. wear foundation in the summer really anyway, but when I do, I only put a little bit. I'm going to go into my concealer. I'm going to be using two different ones, the Glamouflage by Hard Candy Heavy Duty Concealer and Light. This is a little too yellow for me, but it works because of how heavy duty it is to cover up problem areas like acne. And right now, I have this little one on my chin. with that, I'm going to go in with the concealer I'm going to use underneath my eyes. And the one I chose to use today is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. This was the very first shade I was ever matched in at the MAC counter. I'm not going to go into details, but the lady matched me a little too dark and warm. I didn't return it, but I did go back and get my right shade, which is NC15, but because I'm normally a little bit darker, only a little bit, in the summertime, I'm going to use up my NW20. a beautiful blank canvas. It is time to set that said canvas. I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in the shade Transparent. For my blush, I'm using the Tarte Flush Cheek Stain. It looks like a very dark, intimidating berry color, but I promise you, if you just dab it on your cheeks and blend it out, it's beautiful. Now that the blush is complete, I'm going to move on to highlight. The highlight that I'm using is relatively new to the drugstore. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator. And the shade that I have is Rose. This highlighter is so pretty, especially for being a drugstore product. I love it so much. Now moving on to the brows. This is the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Brunette. What I do is I put some on the back of my hand and most of the time I put more than I need because you only need a little bit of this product. And I just apply it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Brush. Just because we're doing bold brows doesn't mean you need to do overkill. But while I'm filling in my brows, I make sure to do very sharp, precise movements. Now that both of my brows are finally done, I'm going to move on to the little bit that we're going to do to the eyes. Using this Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in M532, which actually has a name, it's called Sugar Coated Candy, I'm going to apply this underneath of the brow bone and make the brows pop a little bit more. left for the eyes is tight lining and mascara. To tight line, I'm using my NYX Collection Noir Matte Black Liner. Mm -hmm. 
yesterday when I did this look, I did apply this on my waterline, but today I don't really feel like doing that. A mascara that I use and I've fallen back in love with is my Benefit Dare Real. When I first tried this, I actually did not like this. For a $20 to $25 mascara, it doesn't interest me that much. However, when I do looks like this where all I really wear is mascara, it really makes your lashes pop. Sunlight's starting to go weird because the sun is starting to go down, so I have to quickly film the rest of this video. Then for my lower lashes, I'm not even going to bother using a different mascara. I'm just going to use the ball tip end. Now the very last thing, of course, is the bold lip color. If you're more of a natural gal, you of course can stop here. But I'm going to use a lip product that I have a love-hate relationship with. This is the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in the shade Electra Pink Luster. I absolutely adore the color. It's the formula that I'm kind of iffy on. I don't have a lip liner that matches this, but if you do, feel free. I don't know if you were able to tell, but by the footage, able to dip into the tube and use just the product on the doe foot to apply it all over my lips. It goes on pretty liquidy so you have to be careful with how much you put on your lips. It's really full coverage and it glides on super smooth. So thank you so much for watching my bold brows and lips get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed this talk through and hopefully you'll stick around for more videos to come. Bye!